Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech needs a plant here. iPhone 7 on iOS 14.5 Beta 4, let's take a look. If you want short but detailed iOS 4 reviews that cover the devices you care about, make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you always know if it's safe to update or not. General performance since updating it to iOS 14.5 Beta 4 has been the exact same as iOS 14.5 Beta 3, which means slightly faster than 14.4. You really shouldn't expect to see much change after updating at all, but like I just said, slightly faster than 14.4. Now animations, oh yes, for once I can finally confirm that animations have been nearly perfect. Since updating 14.5 beta 4, I have noticed no unlock stuttering and a very attractive 99% unlock animation success rate. I was gonna say 100% until it happened once. It basically means that the missing unlock animation has been pretty much eliminated, pretty much, which is kind of a great thing in case you haven't caught on. Now app library stuttering is gone as well, but of course, of course, the widgets page stuttering does remain. Now RAM management, it's been the same as iOS 14.5 beta 3, beta 2, beta 1, and iOS 14.4, and likely other releases of iOS 14. Not many reloads occur under ideal conditions, but when you have several larger apps or games open in the background, that's when, well, that's when things are gonna happen. Forget I said it that way. Before I get into battery life, keep in mind that my iPhone 7 has a maximum battery capacity of 90% and has had no restarts. This means that the iPhone is not being performance throttled. And the battery life since updating has actually been amazing. Well, since beta 3, to be fair, gotta give credit where it's due but still it hasn't gotten any worse. The major battery drain we were seeing in early releases of iOS 14 such as 14.3 and 14.2 are mostly gone. Now standby time has been better than all of the previous betas with an overnight drain of 0 to 2%. Now keep in mind that your battery life can and will most likely vary from mine. Now overheating has been virtually non-existent, again. It's just not a major issue on iOS 14.5 beta 4 and really only occurs when you're performing heavier tasks, which is only natural. Everything has been slightly improved with the two exceptions being overall performance and RAM management. Now back to the main question of should you update? Well if you're on an early release of iOS 14 and you are okay with installing beta firmware, I'd say go for it unless you strictly need the best battery life possible. Now if you're on iOS 13 and do want to update or need to, I'd recommend waiting for the full release of iOS 14.5 or just updating iOS 14.4.1 for now. If you're on iOS 13 and don't care to update and don't need to either, I'd recommend staying there for now as well. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank <music> you.